Hey, welcome back to Liza P. Who's ready to burn Andreas? Let's go. Okay, real quick. Re ah, Lord. Real, real quick recap. Eh, from last time. Uh, made it through halfway. I did find that fire damage does something. And since then, I now have the, uh, the beautiful flamberge arm. Firearm. Thank you in the comments for mentioning that fire does effective damage. I was wondering about that anyways, because of it's, uh, the corpses and whatnot. And I went ahead and got the arm, messed around with it a little bit. Don't know entirely what my strategy will be. Maybe use the arm first. And then use fire on the grinds on the weapon. We'll see. If I remember how to play this. Ow. Ow. Too far away. And three. There we go. <laughs> Be mindful of my health. Ow. Like, okay, that's the whole arm already. I mean, that's halfway of his health. Ah. Okay, it's gonna take me a little bit to get reaccustomed to this. Ow. Yeah, I'm already dead. Okay. Didn't go far enough away. Woo! And three. health just off of the plan bird arm. Woo, that was close. Ow. My arm's already out. And three. Back up, back up. Ah. Too soon. Well, I've only used one health. So I may need to, because now we're going to use the grindstone. So I don't think my arm will come back yet. That's still really cool looking. It's going to enjoy it right now because I need to get back in the flow. That is really cool. It'd be so terrifying seeing that for real.
All right, giant turkey. Let's rotisserie something. twice ah! the range on that tongue is so annoying all right that gun it okay I'm gonna change my strategy up a little bit since I can control how long the arm goes but I can't control the timing on the uh, Naginata glaive whatever you want to call it we'll do the fire grindstone the first one and then whenever I'm facing the carcass side not the snake and that didn't seem to do any fire damage to him the actual little turkey neck snake bit so let's do fire on the weapon here I feel like it's already wasted the arm and I'm gonna have to heal and I can't believe I wasted the first one <sighs> how do we skip this hey it's cool but Show me your butt. Giant turkey. Ow. Okay. Nope, dead already. Alright, this time I managed to not use any of the fire yet. I think I only used one uh, health shot. I think that's going to be the strategy going forward, is use the fire on the last phase. God, I hope this is the last phase. There better not be a third one. But yeah, I noticed the fire doesn't do any extra damage when it's facing him. But when it's on the other side, it seems to still do the damage. We're gonna start out here. 
He's gonna launch forward. Oh, you went straight to turkey mode. Ow. 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 That was the strategy. <laughs> Save the fire for later. Oh, hello. What's going on here? What? What the hell? I'm sorry? You. And now, the stage is set. <laughs> You're creepy. <laughs> the hell was that? Twisted Angels Ergo. I want to go back to the old Krat. The old me. Before the greed overtook me. Oh? was a fight let's go uh, what's uh, something further that direction I want to go check on the the chick see if she has anything new to say didn't need an assistant with this one either but yeah definitely <laughs> if you're struggling on this one do your best to take out the first form without using any fire Granted, I have a really nice weapon, so it might be different for you. But, that seemed to be the working strategy. Wait, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to talk to... I think she's over here. Right? Oh? Thank you for your kindness. Sure. Divine service and something else. Oh. Have enough for another level. That's good. Okay, wh where would that be? So I know I got another. Obtain 5,000 ergo. I'm not gonna do that. Let's see, gold caused. Gold caused even the devout saint to crumble little by little. Unable to acknowledge how corrupt he had become, 
He escaped into a delusion that he had been chosen by the angel. Oof. Okay, what was over here? What did I get? I got another record from her. Three minutes. I do appreciate these are full-length songs. And where where was her? Be under notes, maybe. I do want to see what she said. Here it is. is that all it says? Huh. Thank you for your kindness. Okay. I did think there'd probably be something afterwards. You know, maybe I should level up before I start going further. That's not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Actually, never mind. I want to see what's past. And I did see that, um... Oh, what's the dog's name? The dog bounty hunter. <laughs> dog bounty hunter. And, um... There's some other icon showing on the Hotel Crot. But I want to see first what's over here. I gotta tell you, I really love this weapon. Where does this take me? Let's find out. Hotel who knows something. That seems to be a hint. Please tell me that's just the wind. I don't know how much further I want to go. Let's go to the hotel, get that figured out, and then we'll come back out here. That that sounds smarter. Even Jiminy is telling me to go back to the hotel. I tell you, this game does a good job of creeping you out sometimes. Hello. I don't think there's anything else in here. Well, I'll, I'll meet you back at the hotel. Okay, I don't know who I'm supposed to talk to. I didn't recognize... It may have been him. Let's get this figured out. The cathedral. It seems nowhere is safe now. Maybe those who went there seeking refuge became monsters somehow. But the petrification disease turns you to stone, not into a monster. Hmm. I'm worried about the Malam district, just below the cathedral. I wonder whether there are monsters there, too. Could be. Probably. There were some in the, uh... Oh. Oh, I learned what those cages were called. And I completely forgot. Gibbets? Is that what they're called? Okay. Leveling up. Uh, I do like having more health. This increases my fire. Increase my weapon again. But only by five or three. This still goes up 12. And I think I was doing some research on like the level caps, soft caps and hard caps, just like in Dark Souls and all that. And it seems like after 25 vitality, doesn't go up nearly as much. So some of the ones, I think they don't really have a hard cap in this game. They decided to do it more, oh, uh, you continue to get something from every level for anything. It's just that it diminishes as you go. 
but some of them you get the same amount for every single level all the way to 99. Oh, go ahead and do this. Okay. Is there anything else that Your you want to say to me? Surprises. A puppet that keeps changing, keeps growing. I can feel a change in your ergo. Change is never easy. Look at me. A human trapped in the shackles of the past. I wish I was back in Krat before the petrification disease. Before the disaster. Krat was a city of light. A city of joy. I wish I could go back. Even just for one day. Anything else? Okay, I think that seems to be it. I'll use my power to help you. I'll use my power to help Okay, so she settled back down. Yeah, something else must have done the monsters. Was it you? Or do I need to talk I've to... I've been investigating the puppet frenzy and... It looks like I need your help. First, let me show you a little something I've been working on. I call it the Ergo Wavelength Decoder. Mm, the name lacks a certain flair, but I assure you it works. If my suspicions are correct, something in the puppet's very Ergo is causing their aggression. My decoder can find malicious signals within the waves, but I cannot possibly get close enough to gather the Ergo Wave records myself. You, on the other hand, would you? Could you? I suppose. I, I refuse to believe the King of Puppets is truly behind this... this puppet rampage. It's too simple, but also a bit too much even for him. No. I suspect the Ergo itself is corrupted, or at least compromised. Mm. I do so desperately want to find the cause, as I'm sure you do too, my friend. It breaks my heart to see puppets turned into murderous tools of bloodshed. Wavelength decoder. I always welcome friends. May I be of service? Will you tell me about the decoder? No one. Not even I know what started Didn't the puppet frenzy. Why? That day of all days. Ah, it was horrible. A violent rampage of murder and mayhem that is seared into my memory for all time. And it was never supposed to happen again. I made sure of it. Designed a few special parts to ensure they'd remain loyal. Puppet armies do not arise by chance. There was intent behind this. I don't want to leap to conclusions, but the only one I know with that kind of power is the King of Puppets himself. I... We need to learn how this happened. Huh. Well, I, I think I would agree. Doesn't sound like something that would just happen all by chance. Let's see, can I modify? Ah, uh, I don't have Legion Caliber. Oh, that reminds me. I also picked up this. The little shield arm thing. I have to go, I think, to here. I have to get that one, yeah. Can make weapon attacks while guarding, so I can use it more fully as a shield. That'll be really fun. That's something I really love about the other FromSoft games. But it might change up the pacing design for this game. Let me find um, Gepetto and see if he has, he has anything to say. There may even be like a new upgrade for me. A victim of the petrification disease turned into a monster. That's just tragic. Could the disease lead to puppet frenzy? 
No, that doesn't make sense. Remember, puppets cannot get the disease. But puppets shouldn't frenzy either. I made them to obey and protect humans, not go berserk and harm them. But the stalkers blame me. They think I worked with the alchemists to spread the disease to puppets. Mm -mm. <sighs> How sad. All this resentment, with a lie at the root of it. That's why my only wish is that you stay a good boy. No resentment. No lies. Oh, well, I've already lied, so... And I've already told some lies. What do you think to use here? Do I have... I don't know that I have enough... Stuff. Can I? Ooh, I can. It says increases by one. I may have to take some separate time to look at that and let y'all know what I do. Increase staggerable window, that would be nice. I don't really need more fable slots. Can I go up here yet? Phase 2 must be activated. I don't know how I do that. Maybe I have to fill out this one. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. I can do this th this thing too. But I don't think I can do same type. That's right. Change le charge legion when eliminating an enemy. Ooh. That could be nice, because then I can recover the firearm. Open durability, recovery speed. I don't really do throwing object. object. We have charge stagger, increased stagger duration. I'll come back to that, but I want to do... I'm not sure really what I, want, what I want to do yet. Staggered duration is not, not the same thing as uh, this here. Okay, fatal attack, lower damage and discharged. Ah, uh, sure. I, I need to look up what I'm doing with this because I don't really remember. Well, that's something. What's this change shape thing? Remind me what that is. I don't. I forget how much is involved here. No saved shape memories on the device. Okay. Have anything else to say? The city of Krat. It's probably not how you remember it, eh? Ask me any questions, and I'll fill in the gaps. Oh, yes. Malum District. That would be smart. I don't know what's happening in the Malum District. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood seized the neighborhood. That's all I know. It was always a run-down neighborhood, but it's descended into anarchy. Or worse. I'm hearing rumors of monsters rampaging through the district. Those poor people. They need your help, son. Sure. I had hoped for good news. But everyone's dead? How terrible. I remember the Archbishop fondly. To think he became such a monster. Even the puppet frenzy isn't as shocking as that. You think it's the water? Oh? 
thinking about the city's pipes, they connect to the Malum district. Huh. Their water supply might be tainted too. I'm glad I asked about that. The Rosa water supply. Isabel Street is a stronghold of the puppets. It's a hunting ground where the most dangerous puppets roam. I believe it's the epicenter of the puppet frenzy. Hmm. After all, I detected the strongest wave of ergo there. Hey, there you go. Especially for someone as precious as you. It's a perilous place. And when you walk a dangerous path, my son, it's best to take it one step at a time. Thanks to you, the factory is out of the public. I need to check clutches. in with him more often. Benini Works can resume making all sorts of supplies. I kind of knew that already. Not just more puppets. The puppets are still a problem, but at least they don't have endless reinforcements. I knew you could do it. I'm proud of you, son. Hmm. Tainted water supply. Getting a little Resident Evil here. I'm looking to see if I can find a uh, weapon stealer dude. I'll see if the cat likes me anymore yet. No. I've heard the more human you become, the better the cat responds to you. He might just be over there with uh, Eugene. Makes sense. I haven't seen him in any of the rooms yet. Is he over here with you? Maybe you'll know where he is. You know that stalker? Yes. The hound? I is it true you brought him here? Yes. Wow. I, I didn't know he was still alive. Thank heavens. I haven't seen him in person, and I don't know how I'd react. How do you thank the man who saved your life? Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm so glad that someone so kind has reached safety. And speaking of safety, please take care of yourself out there. There's something behind you. You're not the only one who's curious. Most people get around to asking where I'm from. My looks give it away, don't they? Yeah. Suffice it to say, I'm from the country of the morning, beyond the ocean. Japanese. But I wouldn't be much of a tour guide. All I know about it is their weapons. Good choice. My family was a house of weapons specialists. It's quite a reputation to live up to. They almost took charge of planning for the grand exhibition. But that's their reputation, not mine. And they deserted me when I was little. <sighs> I don't even know who they are. And my reputation is my own. I suppose my only connection to them would be... weapons. So I'm an orphan, and that hardly makes me exotic and crot. Can I help you with anything else? I didn't expect all these different uh, character arcs to come into play. Okay, let's see what this little thing is over here. Organize this place according to the rules, so don't touch anything. To the rules? Was that what I was seeing? Yeah. Okay, well, where is the hound? Maybe he's out here training? No? Gosh, where is he? It would appear I walked right past him. That is, uh, <coughs> Alidoro. How the... How the hell did I... How did I miss him? <coughs> Someone saw him as I went through. Tell me. Oh, it's you. This hotel is indeed a refuge from the dangers of the outside world. I am the Hound, a descendant of the city's most aristocratic families. Repaying debts is what we nobles do. Anyone with a worthy spirit is especially welcome. Accordingly, I shall give you the honor of laying eyes upon my treasure. However, you must prove your worthiness. 
For this legendary treasure, mm, the ergo of a powerful enemy shall suffice. It's up to you if you want to make the exchange. Take your time to admire it. I've certainly done likewise. Okay. Kill strong enemies to gain rare er ergo. Elidoro is a treasure hunter who collects this rare ergo. You can exchange it for its precious weapons or amulets. Oh. Okay, so you're the, uh... You're the boss weapon guy. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So... Yeah. So this turns everything. Raid leader. Seven coil spring sword. Ooh, interesting. I'll take more time to actually look at this on my own. Great sword, dagger, from Broken Hero. Who is that? I don't remember the Broken Hero. Is that the guy with the donkey mask? No, 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 no. It's bosses. This would have been the cop, cop robot. Holy Sword of the Ark, King's Flame, ergo. Patient smash. That's funny. And then... Ooh! Trident of the Covenant. That's interesting. Blunt. Eh. Greatsword. Dagger. Greatsword. Blunt. I uh, don't... It's really cool looking. <coughs> Let's see what these other ones here are. Okay. Enables dodging even with low stamina. Ooh, that, that could be nice. Increases weapon attack in proportion to the number of Fable slots. Interesting. I'll have to upgrade those. Upon a successful perfect guard, temporarily increases damage inflicted by weapon attack. Huh. Well, that could be fun. And then has a chance of none... What? Has a chance of none being consumed when using pulse cells. Ooh. Oh, that could be really nice, too. So this is from... Use nameless one. That's what they call it? Huh. Conquering dancing one. I kind of feel like I'd either want this one, enables dodging evil low stamina, or this one. Okay, that's cool. That's gonna do it for this episode. Finally got through that boss from last time, the fallen Archbishop Andreas. Turns out there's maybe some like poison in the water supply or something that's turning him and the others into these monsters. I imagine once they die, because there's the whole carcass aspect to it. We found the uh, the boss weapon guy, Alidoro. Found out a lot more about the what is it, the King of Puppets? That we think I think that's the guy they were showing with that little cutscene where all the different uh, the four different bosses are already done. Went into that cannon thing, light beam thing. That I guess he's the King of Puppets. He seems to be orchestrating the whole puppet frenzy situation since. Supposedly they wouldn't have just gone rogue on their own because they're puppets. That would make sense. We got the Malum district coming up next. And supposedly the water pipes are connected in there somehow. So maybe we'll find the root of the poison over there that's causing this disease. Turn all these uh, carcasses into these raving monsters. But until then, go and give a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel, all that kind of stuff. Ring the bell so you never miss a video. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Viking out.